this is Morland VDC. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. What I'm introducing today is what I've called the four minute fix. So what I envisioned is that certain items, instead of doing a nice 10, 15, 20 minute video, it's probably a little bit overkill um, for certain items. So a four, the four minute fixes that I'm going to be doing are four minutes of a condensed discussion about the bag or about the item or whatever it is I said bag because I'm going to do a bag today um, so that you can get just a good taste of what it is and how it works and you know what it's like if it is that you watch this video and then you think do you know what I enjoyed those four minutes but I think I need to know a little bit more about it something I've been considering getting oh, what about this what about that leave a comment if, if I see that there's enough comments from people saying that they'd like a more in-depth review, I am more than happy to uh, to help you with that. So today, introducing your first four minute fix will be the One Tigress EDC Sling Pack. And our four minutes starts now. Have you started the timer? Sweet, just checking. I sacked her the last time we did this video because she didn't do it properly. Right, okay, one Tigress EDC sling pack. Very quickly, construction of the bag, it's made from 1000, 1000D um, nylon. Whether you're a, oh, if it's not called or I'm not gonna buy it. Well, do you know what? I've got things that are 1000D Cordura, I've got a few things that are 1000D nylon, and I can't really tell that much of a difference. Um, it's nice and strong, it's really tough. I've traveled a lot with this bag. Um, the, one of the other bags in a previous review, the uh, the, the one bag, um, I'll leave a link. That's really good. This is also really good for, for different reasons. So, going from the front to the back. On the front, we've got some Molly, a little PAL system. So if you've got other bags, you can add, attach, you know, you can, you can add those. On the front, first pocket, it's, a, it's just a little, just a little pocket for if you've got stuff. I mean, when I'm doing, I've got, I've got dog bags because you know I'm a responsible dog walker. Um, zips, zips are good, decent quality zips. Not sure whether they are YKK zips, but they're nice. They're oversized, um, and they've all got these little nylon pull cords on them, so they're, they're they're really good if you're wearing gloves. Moving back, the next pocket. And one of the things that I really enjoy is the fact that certain companies make things so that they're ambidextrous. So you can open this either way because there's two zips. In the front here, you've got a nice big pocket which is roughly six by six inches. Um, on the back, you've got a, um, a little pouch that you can put things in. There's a key stay. And then on the front, which is lined as well. So if you're worried about extra protection between the layers, it's lined, which I certainly appreciate. And then there's two elastic straps in there. Um, I keep my Leatherman in there, he holds it, holds it perfectly. If you're watching this in a country where um, you know you can CCW, then you can put extra mags in there. Up the bag, you've got a little bungee system there. And there's also a sleeve that goes all the way through. So if, you know, I carry my mower in there, but it also fits sunglasses if you've got flat sunglasses and then there's a velcro strip um one tigress are really good they give you they give you morale patches for them which you know i quite appreciate that on the side you've got you've got three rows of pals webbing on both sides and then you have the main section the main section is 11 inches by 8 inches by 5 inches you can fit in there quite easily. That's a max position pouch. Done these before. Two big cans of Monster, both fit in. There's a pouch on the front, a pouch on the back, which is really good for small tablets. And then you've got a hook and loop system as well. The strap for the bag is a nice weighty two inch strap. And it also is ambidextrous because you've got two D-rings, one on each side if you need to change that as well. On the back, there's also this mesh system which stops it from rubbing if, you've, if, you, if you know that you're going to be moving around a lot. It just keeps it a little bit so it's more secure on your body. Now I mentioned before, if you, are, you, know, you have a CCW license, there's also an extra section on the back here 
which if you need to, you can take this buckle off and put it in there, or you can also put your CCW in there as well. Cool, that's roughly four minutes. That was my first four minute fix. Um, is there anything I missed? Probably. Um, there's a little uh, handle on the top is it with, with a, you know, it's just got a little bit of rubber bit on there. Um, and that's roughly about it. It's a cracking little bag. Um, and as I say, it's the one that I use to carry all my, uh, my equipment in for when I'm, when I'm recording on days like this. Okay, so that was your four minute fix. Uh, you know the deal. You can find me on Instagram at Morlander underscore EDC. You can find me on Facebook at uh, Morlander EDC. Um, you're, on, you're on YouTube at the moment as well, so obviously you know where I am. Um, and yeah, stay safe, stay Morlander, stay EDC, folks. Oh, 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 oh,